A group two element reacts with water to form a solution and a gas. And for this question, we need to identify which statement is correct. So let's start by writing out a general equation for the reaction of a group two element with water. So we're going to call our group two element X, to show that it's a general element. And we're reacting this with water. And when we have the reaction of one of our group two elements with water, we're going to produce a hydroxide solution. And this will have the formula of X with two lots of the hydroxides. And that's because our hydroxides are a one minus charge. And because our element is from group two, that will form a two plus ion. Therefore, we need two of the hydroxides to balance out that two plus ion. And then the gas which we're going to form is going to be hydrogen gas. So therefore, to balance this, we would need to put a big two in front of our water so that we have all of our elements balanced out. So let's work through these statements now and see which of these could be correct. So statement A says that the reactivity of the elements decreases down group two. Now this statement is actually going to be incorrect. And the reason why is because as we're going down group two, our atomic radius is going to increase. The shielding is going to increase. And therefore, it's going to be easier to remove the electrons from an element as we go down that group two. Hence, they're going to be increased in reactivity. And this is despite the increasing nuclear charge. So overall, our reactivity will actually increase. Hence, statement A is incorrect. Now, let's have a look now at statement D. Now we can eliminate this statement because we've already written out our equation here. And the reason why this equation they've written out is incorrect is because they've got the wrong formula for their hydroxide, which in this case they've used with strontium. Because strontium is a two plus charge, therefore the formula would need to be SrOH2. And this has affected the balancing as well. So this statement is incorrect. The reaction is not a neutralization because we haven't got an acid reacting with a base. So we don't have a proton donor and a proton acceptor. And actually this reaction is a redox reaction where we have a change in oxidation numbers for our element from group two and for our hydrogen there. So it's not a neutralization. Therefore our correct answer is B. And the reason why this is correct is because when we produce this hydroxide with our group two element, as we go down the group, as I mentioned before, the atomic radius as we go down the group is going to increase as we have increased number of electron shells. And what this means is as we go down group two, the two plus ion which we form is going to be less charge dense because that charge is going to be spread out over a larger volume of that ion. Hence, the ionic bond within the hydroxide will be weaker, so it will be more able to donate those hydroxide ions, which will give it an increased pH overall. Therefore, our answer is option B.